Now on 12, the person accused of stabbing a Bronx man to death and then setting his apartment on fire goes before a judge. We'll tell you what's next for the suspect. And Bronx trap hangers may have to make some changes to their commute as MTA's fast track repairs hit our borough. Those stories bluster weather on the twos. It all starts right now. As local as local news gets, News 12, The Bronx. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brittany Miller. A Webster Avenue man is dead today, stabbed in the neck, and then his apartment lit on fire. Now the man accused of killing him gets his first day in court. News 12's Days Roush has the latest. Murder in the first degree, that was the charge read to Leo Huggins here inside the Bronx Criminal Courthouse on Sunday afternoon in an arraignment that took barely five minutes. Huggins is accused of stabbing 56-year-old Gregory Evans inside his apartment at 2247 Webster Avenue. Bronx Assistant District Attorney Jeff Kimmelman told the judge that Huggins himself told detectives inside the 46th precinct that an argument over a missing ATM card led to a struggle and the stabbing. Huggins also allegedly told detectives that after the victim crawled into his bedroom, Huggins lit the bed on fire. He then allegedly left the apartment and called 911, telling dispatchers that he had just killed a man. Now, this is not Huggins' first run-in with the law. The assistant district attorney says that he has a long rap sheet and has done prison time in the past. Huggins, through his attorney, did not ask for bail. He will be back in the courthouse before a grand jury. That is slated to occur on January the 18th. Reporting from the Bronx Criminal Courthouse on 161st Street, Dave Roush, News 12, The Bronx.